It is a privilege today to be joined on the summit today by Coach Sam Conkey from the Central Baptist Mustangs. Coach, your team picked up another big win on the road on Saturday. You get a victory over Crowley's Ridge. I, that extends your record 18-2 and two for the school over Crowley's Ridge. I know you have some dominance there, but any win's a big win at this time of the year. Final non-conference game of the season, but let's talk about this. It brings you to 15-4. and four. Talk about the win on Saturday. Yes, it does, Joey, and thank you for having me on, and thank you for all that you do, first of all. But, uh, but yeah, you know, happy happy to come out of there with a win, you know, one by ten. Uh, you know, if I'm being honest, we didn't play to our uh, our, our normal standard, if, if I'm being real. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's college basketball. Um, you know, any team can, can beat any other team on any given night, and they gave us, you know, a decent run for our money. So happy we got the win. Um, you know, we actually uh, – you know, win number 50, uh, as you're talking about, that uh, that came with we, we were very depleted roster. We, we've been dealing with the flu. Um, so these last two games, you know, we, we've been able to win, but we've been dealing with a lot of diversity, a lot of missing guys. So, um, you know, happy we were able to come out with a, with a couple of road wins the last two. But, uh, you know, I'm just really happy my guys are, you know, working and, and we're getting healthy and, and just keep getting better every day. That's, that's kind of the message that, that we're preaching every day. Hey, staying healthy, especially at this time of year, I know is is absolutely it's it's huge. It's instrumental. Well, last week was a big week. Then win win number fifty, win number fifty one. You are the second fastest person in Central Baptist history to hit that fifty win plateau, and to do it this your third season. But let's just say two and a half years. Okay, so that's a, that's a pretty good little clip. Talk about that and and reaching that fifty win plateau. Yeah, you know it's it's just a testament to the. Uh, the assistant coaches that I've had have been sensational and, and the players who I've had who, who have been sensational too. Um, you know, year one was kind of rough. You know, we, we got off to a bad start record wise, you know, we ended up losing a lot of players um, early on in the season and we had to adjust and learn on the fly and we got hot late and had some, some big wins late year one. Um, and then year two, that was kind of my first recruiting class that I brought in, uh, you know, big jump forward, won 21 games, you know, in year two and, made it the championship. Um, and then, you know, now you're three, uh, you know, just keep trying to keep building the right direction um, and just put my, my personal influence on the guys, um, get my type of guys in here. Um, and, and like I said, you know, I'm very appreciative, you know, 15, 51 wins. It's not taken lightly by me, but, but really it's, it's just a reflection of, of the players and coaches that I've been fortunate to have around me. And, you know, they've made me look, look good. So appreciative. <laughs> Well, I appreciate the humility, Coach, but I know you were a part of it as well. So we'll we'll give credit where credit is due on that. And and again, two more wins this past week. You actually the the, the Mustangs now with uh, six consecutive wins, five and zero oh, the start in American Midwest Conference play. And, and you were talking about you know playing in that championship game last season, trying to put yourself in a position to make a, a run uh, in the conference tournament and beyond this year. But uh, not a bad start to the season, five and zero. Oh, and if you can pick up a win in your next one. That would equal CBC's best start in AMC play. Yeah, you know that's that's the hope, that's the goal. Um, yeah, you know we we've gotten off to a good start. Um, you know we uh, we actually we lost our top six leading scores from last year. So we started this season overall uh, three and two, just trying to figure out lineups and rotations and and just you know a new team, uh, just trying to figure that out. And ever since I'd say after that fifth game, we've really been clicking. Um, and, you know, we had a big win at Columbia, which is a really tough place to play. Uh, we're, we played very well that game and, and kind of showed everyone in our locker room and, and anyone that's watching really what we can be, what we're capable of. Um, and then, you know, we, we've been able to, to continue going, uh, doing that in conference, you know, 5-0. I and think, I think everyone's been by double figures, too. Um, so, you know, we're, we're, in a, we're in a solid place. Um, but, you know, we, We've been preaching every, all year since day one, since our first team meeting. You know, we're not looking so much at the end result. We're, we're just trying to be fully immersed in the process. And and I don't want to be a hypocrite, hypocrite and just say that when, you know, we're not playing well or we're losing games. I, I mean it when we're winning games, too. Just continue focusing on what we can control. And I think we have the talent and the versatility and the depth that if we focus on what we can control, then we're going to win most of our games. But again, just that's not our focus. It's just taking care of what we can um, and just, just continuing to build every single day. We're visiting now with Coach Sam Conkey from Central Baptist. 
in Conway, Arkansas, as the Mustangs are on a bit of a roll right now, 15-4, and four, we said, to, to start the season. And, Coach, you're, you're getting solid play, I think, all around the board and, and uh, led – at least scoring-wise, by Deshaun Corpru and Sage Bourbon. But I know that uh, it's it's a team effort, and, and I'd love for you to share about this team. Yeah, uh, you said it right. You know, those two guys, they're, uh, you know, and really all these guys are really talented players. Um, you know, Sage, we, Sage is first in his first year here, um, and he's he's doing great. He He's just, you know, such a lightning bug. He's, he's undersized, you know, but his heart and his brain are, are big, and, and, you know, he's very skilled. Um, so he's been kind of our motor, the, the, the motor uh, for our team, just getting us going. He's a leader. He's a captain. He was voted captain by his teammates. Um, so he's been huge. Deshaun Corporal is, you know, to me, I think he's going to be the player of the year in the conference. You know, if all things work out, he's, you know, just an incredible rebounder, incredibly skilled. I mean, he really has no flaw in his game. Um, you know, he can shoot it. He can post. He can rebound. He can pass. He can do it all. And I'm just proud of him specifically because he played four games last year towards Achilles. Um, and, you know, being a guy who's – it was a junior last year, you know, he's older, he could have just said, all right, you know, I'm done. But he worked his way back. Uh, he's battled through adversity. And, and, you know, he's really been been a, a huge piece of what we do. And so very appreciative of those two. And then, you know, Jonas Carlisle, Devin Foster, Kyle Harding, Christian White, Tomas Mikiska. I mean, really, Hakeem Hancock, really all these guys have been – absolutely huge what we're doing. And, and I could literally name every single player on the team and just say, wow, this guy has contributed in this way. It's really been a team effort, but, but those, those couple of guys have really been leading us in the right direction so far. I mentioned that uh, I mentioned Conway, Arkansas, of course, it's, it's a city that has a number of uh, higher institution places there. I mean, it's a, it's a city with colleges and uh, your time in Conway again, two and a half years as the lead man there at Central Baptist. Talk a little bit about that, and uh, more than just the fifty-plus wins. Yeah, you know, uh, being at Central Baptist, uh, it's it's been a really awesome experience. Um, I've just been able to, to grow and, and to learn, you know, through through you know mistakes, through experience, um, and you know, the thing that I like most about this athletic department specifically is, you know, I'm. You know, we have a, re a really good AD in Lyle Middleton, but he lets you kind of figure it out. He's not going to micromanage. He's not going to come sit in on every practice and tell you how to do it. Um, you know, he lets you figure things out. And as a young coach, first getting started three years ago, I had a lot to figure out. And I still do have a lot to figure out, but but I, it's been a, a natural process. And just, you know, I can feel the improvements year to year on my end, um, just in, in learning things and, and just, you know, trying to get better and better every day. Um, so it's been a great experience. Conway's an incredible city, you know, cities, three colleges here. It's a nice college town. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's just a lot of good things here, and, and I'm happy here, um, and a lot of good people here at CBC, and that's really what it's about. You know, our SID, Eric Colth, is really sensational at his job. He, he's one of the hardest workers, you know, that I know. Um, and there's just a lot of people like that just at the school who are just doing a really good job. and and making it making sure that the school runs in the program one runs the way it's supposed to well from from this vantage coach it looks like you're figuring it out you're you're continuing to to, to get that done and, and i do i appreciate uh, i appreciate eric and what he does as well let, let me ask you this then thursday you you are back at home and that uh, american midwest schedule gets back underway uh, not really the home stretch yet but you know feeling that mid to late January portion of the schedule, I'm sure, where, you know, every every game, uh, they're all important, but they just feel even that much more important. So William Woods comes to town. Preview the game for us. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Joey. Uh, you know, it is pr getting pretty close to that home stretch. You know, I think we got nine left, nine left. And, uh, you know, William Woods, I told the guys this yesterday when we introduced them, you know, on the scouting report, to me, they might be the most talented team in our conference. They very well could be. Uh, they have just very good depth. They have some proven all-conference, all-American types in previous years. Um, they actually, they had a Division One exhibition with UT Martin uh, over the Christmas break, and they were up by a point with like 30 seconds left. They end up losing by three, but just shows how talented they are. And, you know, they're all the respect for them in the world. They got talent, but it's not just talent. They play very hard. They play together. Uh, they're a tough team, so – so, you know, it's going to be a big time game. It's going to be, we're going to have to bring our A game. We're going to be ready to go. 
um, because that's, I mean, like I said, we ain't, we're not going to win on accident. We got to go do what we need to do to take care of business. I like that. I like that phrase, Coach. I may, I may borrow it from you and, yeah. and possibly even give you credit, maybe. I don't know. Hey, I, you know, I, honestly, <laughs> I don't know where I got that from, but I, fi I find myself using that phrase pretty frequently, and I kind of like it too. Well, it's a good one, and it looks like that you are doing on purpose what needs to get done. Wins number 50 and 51 last week in your era at Central Baptist, and again, the Mustangs 15-4. and four. Coach Sam Conkey, thank you so much for taking time with us today here on The Summit. Success to you all, and we're, we're going to continue to follow you. Thank you so much, Joey, and again, I just appreciate you and, and what you do for NAI Athletics, and uh, would love to talk anytime. Thank you, sir.